When it comes to the proper meals for our dog, we are often advised to consult with our dog's vet. And rightfully so. The only problem for many caregivers is consultations require time and money. Therefore it's no surprise for many to turn to the web for answers. While there's a wealth of trustworthy facts on dog food, the internet is also riddled with food myths and misinformation. Here's a sampling of five dog food myths, followed by the actual truth behind them. Dogs aren't wolves and they're not carnivores. They're omnivores like us. Unlike wolves, dogs have lived alongside humans for thousands of years, feeding on human food scraps. As humans began to eat more plant-based food at the early dawn of civilization, so did their canine companions. According to evolutionary geneticist Peter Savalainen, the genetic evolution of dogs parallels that of humans. The science backs this up as research has shown that dogs have up to 1,300% more copies of the amylase gene than wolves. This allows dogs to thrive on a relatively starch-rich or plant-based diet. As long as it's properly cooked, preferably steamed and not fried in oil. Fish meat has excellent benefits for dogs. From healthy proteins to omega-3 fatty acids, fish is a healthy and delicious alternative to other protein sources. Unlike beef, pork, and chicken, fish is more environmentally friendly and contains less fat, which is great for overweight dogs. Nevertheless, it should be part of a balanced diet that includes nutrients like antioxidants obtained from vegetables. Dogs are omnivores, remember? This might be good news for caregivers of dogs with allergies. According to an article published on the website of the American Kennel Club, pork is less likely to cause an allergic reaction than most protein sources. This white meat is also a good source of amino acids and contains more calories per pound. Pork is highly digestible, which is an excellent option if your dog is experiencing bloat, constipation, or loose stools. So why isn't this meat more widely used in dog food? The answer is its scarcity. Humans love to eat pork until there are no leftovers for dog food companies. As a rule, vets are against giving high-protein food to dogs suffering from kidney failure or disease. Having said that, there's no scientific evidence to prove a direct correlation between renal issues being caused by protein-packed canine diets. According to Dr. Danielle Bernal, an animal nutritionist expert, a high-protein diet can lead to many health benefits for your dog. This is provided the portions are properly administered and recommended by a vet. Some of these benefits include a healthier and shinier coat, improved skin health, lean muscle growth and a stronger immune system. Many senior dogs can also benefit from high-protein foods. A common myth we frequently hear is that dry food cleans your pet's teeth. In reality, eating kibble does not keep your pet's teeth clean, any more than eating potato chips will keep our teeth clean. Since there's no type of abrasive in kibble such as bones, it gets trapped between teeth and promotes the formation of tartar. That's why if your dog's teeth have tartar, one quick way to remove it is to let him chew a raw bone. Otherwise, make a dental appointment as soon as possible, as poor oral hygiene can lead to gum disease and even diabetes and poor cardio health. The primary way to maintain oral hygiene in a dog is mainly through regular brushing. There's no escaping that. While the web can be a great source of information for pet dog diet, remember to always look for trustworthy sources. The best you can do as a responsible dog owner is to be properly informed and rely on scientific facts and common sense. Also, if possible, it wouldn't hurt to run your findings by your trusted vet for a second opinion. The choice is yours. Thanks for watching. 
If you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe for new content weekly.